Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2000 stop-motion animation film, Chicken Run, which is also one of my personal favorites. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. We follow a chicken named Ginger, who has a sense of adventure and wants to find freedom, but she finds herself trapped on a farm, led by the villainous Miss Tweety and her bumbling husband, Mr. Tweety. We see Ginger game planning with the other chickens and we have some comedic moments where we see the chickens building contraptions and other mechanisms like a big slingshot that flings some of the other chickens across the fence. After so many attempts, Ginger eventually gives up, but she looks up in the sky and sees a hen named Rooster flying through the sky and he drops into the farm with them and finds himself trapped in their situation. But she looks at Rooster as a miracle, someone that she really needed to get her and the other chickens out of the farm. When Rooster pops up, he's pretty cocky and treats himself like a hotshot. And when he tells all the other chickens that he's from America, he wins over all the gals in the room. But as we go along, we come to find out that Rooster is hiding a pretty big secret from Ginger. Ginger was led to believe this whole time that Rooster can fly and get her and the chickens out of there safely. But around the third act, Rooster is revealed to be a fluke. He has a poster that he gave to Ginger near the beginning of the film and it's him flying, but when he gives her the rest of the poster before he takes off, before the final mission, he gives her the rest of the poster and it's revealed that he's getting shot out of a cannon. And this breaks Ginger and the other chickens' hearts. I gotta say, this film has one of the more intimidating villains that I've seen in a kid's film. And this film is quite dark for a children's movie. I must admit, when I was younger, Miss Tweety did leave a pretty big impact on me with how creepy she was and how evil and threatening and how cold-blooded the character is. But I do laugh at Mr. Tweety every time when he pops up because of how clumsy and ditzy he is. One thing that I really loved about the movie was how the chickens were presented to be in prison. And Ginger, when she gets caught continuously over and over in the beginning, she's getting slammed into solitary confinement. And there's a couple prison shots or nods here and there. Classic prison shots like the slider opening and the prisoner sitting there with the light shining in their face. That was one really cool shot I like with Ginger. I also love the supporting characters. A lot of them are on the bumbling and ditzy side as well. Like one of my favorite characters, Babs, who's really oblivious to every situation that she's in. In fact, she's just knitting the whole movie, but every line that came out of her mouth gave me a big chuckle because she was so... She's a really nice chicken, nice personality, but just really goofy, almost over the top, but in a very funny way. Another one of my favorite characters is Fowler, the elderly rooster, or the oldest out of the group, and, and he's always going off about how he was in the RAF, the Royal Air Force, I believe. It's pretty funny, the commands that he's giving to the other chickens, and sometimes they don't really respect him as much, or they ignore him while he's going off on a tangent. Definitely one of my favorite characters. He gives me some of the bigger laughs in the film. And I really like how Rooster and Ginger work together and the build up of their relationship because at first from what I remember she's not really rocking with his personality of how cocky he is and his bravado and then she starts to warm up to him especially when he shows Ginger that he does care about the other chickens. This movie was also one of the first VHS's that I remember ever. I'm younger I was born in 97 but this came out in 2000 so I was around three or four when I first saw this VHS. So this movie is very nostalgic for me. I had it in the household ever since. It was a trip re-watching this movie as an adult because I really loved it as a kid, but I appreciated the underlying tones and the dark themes more on this more adult rewatch, if you will. But to wrap it up, Chicken Run is one of my favorites. I think this movie's awesome. I can understand if this one's a bit darker for your kids to watch, but overall, it's really heartwarming. There's some really sweet moments as well. And there are a lot of characters here that are really goofy. And I do think the tone throughout the film is very well balanced. You have the sweet moments, the funny, the creepy moments, all tied up in a nice ribbon. I don't want to butcher her last name, but Julia Sawala 
did a really good job playing Ginger. And I would consider Ginger to be one of my favorite female leading characters in an animation film. The determination she has to save her chickens. Even when she's on the verge of giving up, the light bulb pops up and she manages to find a plan at the end of the day. I really enjoyed Mel Gibson's voice work for Rooster as well. Rooster is a cocky guy, but he does have a heart and he goes to show it when he comes back to save the day. And the sequences with the close calls where Ginger and Rooster are about to get baked alive in the pot pie machine and they barely make it out on time in the last minute. I really love that sequence and how it was filmed because it's really tense. The part that sticks out to me is where Ginger and Rooster are trapped inside of the pot pie dough and they're trying to escape and they're about to get flattened. This film also has a wonderful score done by one of my favorite composers, Harry Gregson Williams who also did the score for Man on Fire, another favorite of mine. His score is really done well because it brings out a lot of the somberness and the sentimental moments and elements of the film, especially giving us that feeling of being trapped with the chickens and their situation. There are a couple moments where they try to tug at the heartstrings, and the music score definitely elevates it for me. But overall, I'm going to give Chicken Run a personal 10 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro. What do you think about this film, Chicken Run? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it not your cup of tea? Is it one of your favorites like mine? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, between time, I'm on to the next review. Fro, I'm out. Thank you for watching.